how to stop giving an F about what other people think of you. This is why you're suffering right now because all you're doing inside your mind is thinking about what others are thinking about you, which is completely crazy because it's not what other people are saying. You're thinking about what they could be thinking. So your imagination is running wild. You're creating unnecessary scenarios. Oh, can they see that I've got a spot over here? Oh, what if I do that? And then she says this, and earlier this happened, and no, my hair, or maybe my clothes are a bit dirty. What if they can see? You're, you're, you're literally torturing yourself by these thoughts. Because again, it's not what's being said, it's what you think about what other people will perceive you to be. So when you really put it down to it, like, why is that? Why do you care so much? Why are you constantly looking at things in a negative way? Why do you not think about, hey, maybe they're looking at me in a positive way. Maybe they're looking at me, you know, in a good way rather than what I think they might be thinking in a negative way. But this really comes from childhood. When you really get to the bottom of it, this has come from your childhood. Maybe you grew up in an environment where your parents were supportive and loving, they gave you compliments and made you feel good. And then you get into the real world and people are harsh. People are, you know, putting you down and saying things that you don't like. It, it could be the other way around. Maybe your parents told you you're ugly or you're this and that. So that's like the origin of it. But at the end of the day, you have to realize that making up scenarios is absolutely crazy, bro. You're literally torturing yourself. But the truth is every single person is insecure. We all have something that we're insecure about that we're not too confident with. It might be your height, it might be your face, your forehead, maybe it's your hair, maybe it's the way you speak or everyone has that. No matter how confident a person is, no matter how successful or whatever you think of a person who's at a higher level, it has the same problems. They're insecure about something, which is okay, which is natural. There's no problem with that at all. But when you start to, when your insecurity becomes so much to the point where you're imagining other people seeing your insecurities, then you are torturing yourself. So it comes down to the self-talk. What do you think about yourself? If you don't want to give an F what people think, you have to get to the stage where you look at yourself in a positive way. You look at yourself as a good person, someone who's progressing. Because Everything comes down to what you think about yourself. If you're truly happy, truly confident, and you're on your journey and you feel good about yourself, you're not even going to be thinking about what someone else thinks. But if you want to happy with yourself and you are, you know, putting yourself down and the talk inside of your mind is negative, then you're going to see that. Then you're going to feel like everyone else is seeing your insecurity. Do you understand? So self-talk, is it positive or is it negative? How you see yourself is how you're going to view other people. So work on yourself, work on your thinking, change the words around. If you say to yourself, oh, I'm ugly, oh, I have this, change the word. The moment you say ugly, stop and think, no, I'm not ugly. Let me change the word. I'm beautiful. You understand? Oh, um, I haven't got a beautiful face. Oh, I got spots on my face. Like people are not, people are going to see it. They say, hey, everybody, ha everybody else has spots, so it's not a big deal. You understand? So it's down to what you're telling yourself. How you feel is what you're going to project out. So change the way you speak. Now, projecting your own insecurity on other people is the real issue. You might be insecure, which is okay, your own insecurity, but if you are projecting it, you're putting, you're putting that thought inside someone else's mind. You truly think that someone else cares that much about you. That that's where you went wrong. You, you think people care so much about you, the way you look, the way you talk. Everyone else has their own problems. Everyone has their insecurities. Everyone's not sitting here judging you all day long, bro, because they have their own things to, to think about. The way you're thinking is the way all people are thinking. You're thinking, oh my God, how do I look? How am I talking? Is it this okay? Is this not okay? That's how everyone else is thinking as well. So they're not worried about you. You're worried about them worrying about you. So again, it's like an imagination game. You, you, it's like in your own imagination, you're torturing yourself for your own thinking. People are self self-conscious of themselves they're really not thinking about you so what you have to realize is that well, if you are going to think in that manner look at it why can't it be positive why can't i think oh this person uh, this person you know what i think they like me oh this person you know like it's down to what you think again not to repeat myself some people will like you in this world some people will not like you that's as natural You'll be liked by some, some people will not like you. You cannot be liked by everyone, which is your problem. You want to be liked and accepted by every single person. 
That's why you're thinking in this way. That's why your your thoughts are the way they are, and you care so much about what other people think. You want to be liked. But the reality is no matter how good you are, how polite you are, how you behave, you will not be liked by some people. That's just natural. That's just supposed to be like that. So wanting to be liked will result you into caring what people think, result you into overextending yourself and just torturing yourself again. Accept that don't, people don't like you. Accept that some people may judge you. Accept that some people may say or do some things that you don't like. Wanting, wanting, wanting life to be different than that is just... A, Again, you're doing it to yourself. Now, what you think of yourself, ultimately, is what it comes down to. Like I said at the start of the video, if you consider yourself a loser, weak, ugly, that is what you're going to see yourself as through other people as well. So the main thing is to work on yourself, to build your confidence, build your body, your mind, your, your life up to the point where you are happy with your life. Remember, the quality of your life comes down to the quality of your thoughts. It's as simple as that. So work on yourself, believe in yourself, stop torturing yourself and making yourself be, be the central attention of the world when nobody in the world really cares about you, bro. You know, even the people close to you don't even care about you to that degree. It's you. So work reading, working out, you know, journaling. There's so many different ways and tools to use in order to improve your state of mind. And then once you improve your state of mind, then everything will be fine. But if your mindset's not right, and if you, and if you do not think highly of yourself, like I always say, you need to be your own biggest fan. Are you a fan of yourself? Do you like who you are as a person? And you can only do that when you put the work in. You can't be happy with yourself or be joyful or anything like that if you are not putting in the work. If you're going to the gym, you're working on your body, you're working on your mind, you're working on different things, you're trying your best every day, then you'll be happy with yourself. Then you're not too worried about what other people think. But when you know yourself, you're not putting in the work, you understand? You're lazy, you're procrastinating, you know that, then of course you're going to be self-conscious and overthinking. So work on yourself, never give up on yourself, keep striving, keep pushing yourself to be better, nobody's gonna do it for you. You can watch this video and feel high, feel motivated, but you have to go put the work in. And that self-respect and self-confidence is earned through the energy and effort that you put into yourself, for your self-care. So if you wanna feel better, then treat yourself better. That's the end of the video, make sure to smash the like button, hit the red subscribe button, and leave a comment down below. Let's go.